Hey Capricorn, what's up? Welcome back. So let's see what is going on for you. What are the messages for Capricorn? I don't know why, but I feel like I want to do like a you versus them. Let's do that. Okay, I'm just going with the, with the energy that I'm feeling. You, ooh, seduction. Look at that. Whew. Okay, feeling tempted by someone. All right, then we have things coming to light, the dragonfly for your person. Wow, I feel like you're, I don't, I don't know, but this seduction energy gives me this vibe of you trying to seduce someone to talk, seduce someone to get some type of information out, right? Like you are using maybe your charms, your looks, your maybe your sensuality, whatever it is, like you're trying to get something from someone. So we're starting off quite intense here, <laughs> like wow. Um, and your person feels like you have something up your sleeve that they are going to be finding out and they might be scheming through the situation and not really talking that much, not really opening up. Uh, they may take this time to heal However, you're coming off like very passionate, like you want something, like you want whatever it is. Let's see. Oh, yes. Look at that. The temperance card, the knight of wands and the ten of wands. Like for whomever needs to hear this message, Capricorn, don't try too harsh. Don't try too hard. Don't overgive yourself. Don't come off too strongly because maybe this has not happened yet, but Maybe you're still going to meet someone and you might not know that this person is actually in a third party and you will try to seduce them, okay? And with that knight of wands, it's like way overly passionate and wanting too much at the same time, having too much energy to give to this person. However, the temperance card is here saying, you gotta chill out, all right? The temperance card is here telling you like, hey, Everything needs to be in balance, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Don't over exhaust yourself or over give in your energy because eventually you will feel burdened. You don't know if this person's energy is truly pure and you can take on their energy with that ten of wands uh, and it could leave you a little bit in this confusion. Okay, let's see what their uh, energy is like you might be blocking something by taking too much action here or, or going at it when it comes to your passion. You know what I mean? Not passion, but like, uh, how do we even explain this energy, right? I think you know what I mean. It's like your heart wants it, your, your body wants it, like everything wants this thing. And it's like, hold on. <laughs> Hold on to your horses. That's what the Knight of Wands is saying, especially in this Sagittarius season. Now, we just entered that Sagittarian season. So it could be that you're going to have like this wave of energy, wave of like trying to overpower. And that is a very Sagittarian energy. So you might need to find a little bit of balance there. You might be dealing with someone that is like has recently ended a relationship. They are going through a transformation. They are going through some type of ending here. Oh, it's getting super light outside. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, then we're doing like that. This person has just recently gotten out of a relationship and they're taking things slow. So they may feel like you're coming off way too strongly on them. So I may, I may want to suggest you to take it a little bit slow when it comes to this person. Um, yeah, they're still in the, in the process of finding things out in regards to their past relationship. So if you try to seduce them in any type of way, or shape or form, they may feel like they need to put the blocks on it because they're still kind of like in the process of understanding what has happened in their past relationship. <laughs> okay, let's see what more. Your energy, please. Yeah, you're... 
a lot of messages you will find yourself in a space where you feel like you need to take action you need to communicate you need to talk and sending way too many messages here this is a sign for for you to do a little bit of reflection also on your own energy you're going to have this energy impulse impulsive energy coming over you and and spirit is saying like that seed is not ready to grow right now it's it's like it needs some time it needs some 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 time to pass by before this seed can grow and you need to reflect on your own energy are you giving too much to a situation what is their energy yeah they're still in the comfort zone see that's what i'm saying like they are in a space of self-care and self-love like they want to put that focus on themselves and they feel like they need to kind of like be alone with their spirit guides or pray or just find some type of enlightenment through their ancestors or their angels or whatever it is so i'm seeing that like both your energies are completely on a different energy you're like you are ready to go like you're ready for for that party you're ready for bringing things into motion and you're just like come on let's do it like you're you're just like overexcited like that overexcited energy that we see with sagittarius you're like yeah yeah hell yeah let's do it like let's hop on that plate let's just go let's go on that adventure let's just do it that energy could get you a little bit in trouble because this other person is like they're still trying to find out things about their past and all of that type of stuff and it's like it's not really connecting properly here yeah let go of the need to know controlling energies like that's what the seduction comes in with because you're trying to seduce this person to either talk take action to kind of like put fire under their ass and it's like it's all because you want to know what the outcome is going to be between the both of you but it's not it's not something that you need to be focused on right now like let go of the need to know what is going on they are scheming here scheming meaning that they they are in this dragonfly energy which is like under illusion and not being open being deceptive going inward and not being able to express what is really going on and spirit is saying like trust in the divine timing the divine law is at play here saying that things are going in your favor however you need to let go of control issues and union could be close with this individual i'm gonna clarify the energy that's between the both of you here with this union i'm just saying that not this week okay i'm not talking about like the future extent but not this week, meaning that the devil card is saying that you can get very obsessive, controlling, seductive, lust could take over you. And that could eventually also block, like form like some type of blockage in the soulmate union. And again, there's also a third party element here. There is some type of, there's a child maybe at play. Um, but there is definitely a third party energy here that could be interfering in the soulmate connection. Yeah, here we have the seven of pentacles reversed. Do not wait because if you would wait for this person to take action on ter on your terms, you will find a disappointment here. So again, um, put your energy somewhere else is what I'm getting. I know I'm not a sugar coder. Like if this is a message, someone needs to hear it. And if you feel triggered by it, then it means that you are in that controlling energy, right? So um because if this is not your reading, this is not your reading. But if you feel triggered of this particular energy, then it might be that there is some type of reflection in this that you need to pay attention to. We've got the Justice and the Seven of Cups. This person does not know what to do right now. They're confused. They're stuck. They are still dealing with some type of... Uh, I, I feel like they're going through the divorce here. They are definitely going through a divorce right now they are holding back on communication and information they're not being open about it 
And I feel like it's because they want to keep this information to themselves until it is finalized, but it's not finalized. It's like they don't know what the outcome is going to be, what the what this judgment is going to like, what the judge is going to say, if they're going to be a free person or if they need to pay a lot of a limitation, whatever it is, like in this divorce, in this karmic cycle, they're still confused about that. And you have here the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. So it says, sometimes the victory is not worth the price. So pushing things to the limit, and that's what I'm getting, like pushing to the limit, do, 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 do. Scarface, pushing to the limit is not going to help. Keep yourself in high honor. Absolutely. Yeah, this person might be stressed out about the house, about their living situation, their stability, and they're waiting for some type of outcome when it comes to a legal matter here, adjudication coming through. So keep yourself in high honor here. That's what I have for you. That is all what I have for you. Uh, that was a specific message. Again, if the title does not resonate, then it's probably not your reading. But yeah, that's what I have. Take care of yourself.